first we need to um, model a little link for our chain so we're going to go to create a polygon um, primitive torus in the creation parameters I'm just going to thin it out by using the radius and drop the subdivisions to something like 12 in my top view I'm going to grab one half of the vertices and I've got symmetry turned on which you can turn on in the um, toolbox and I'm just going to drag it out to create a shape and then flatten these two top bits and if I hit three we've got a simple link shape you can obviously spend longer modeling that if you want to I'm going to use Control D to duplicate and then move our duplicated one out and then sit it how you want it there and holding down J to snap I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees like so with our channel box open I'm going to select the first and second and I'm going to go to edit duplicate special and open the channel box I want you to reset the settings and then we're going to change the geometry type to instance and then I'm going to use translate X which will make my chain go along this way and I'm going to take this value and I'm going to double it and this will give us the amount we want to translate both of the links together so it's going to be 3.856 and then number of copies I'm going to do 30 and then going to hit duplicate special so now we've made a whole chain and the reason we used instancing was that if we want to come in and edit our links we can edit them all together okay um, group these to keep it nice and tidy group instance and then duplicate your instance group and hide the original this I'm just going to rename combine so we don't get confused so I've previously drawn a curve and we're going to use curve warp um, to create our chain there's three steps we need to do now to make sure we can apply the curve warp without any issues first one is select your curve and make sure all your translations are frozen if not go to modify freeze transformations and then we're going to take the geometry that we've still got as individual chains and we're going to go to the modeling drop down menu mesh combine curve warp will only work with a single object so that's why we're going to do that and then the last one is to make sure that your chain is sat on zero and that your pivot is um, also sat there if it's this is raised up slightly you're gonna it's gonna apply it to the curb with an offset of this distance so make sure that's sitting on zero when those three things are done we're ready to select the curve and our combined chain go to the animation drop down menu deform curve warp okay so here we have my chain and it is now following this curve that I've created and if I select control vertice and move this around it is going to follow it exactly it isn't going to stretch the shape even if you stretch how long this control curve is how long your curve is it isn't going to stretch the shape which I really like about this method over using mesh and we also have some parameters where we can change the offset so we can actually go and um, animate this if we want to you can tick off keep length and it will stretch your chain um, but if you really need the links to stay the exact way that you modeled them then because we have um, our instance group that we've saved what we can do is it's not fully procedural but we can come back to this grab the last two links go back to edit duplicate special and just add some more copies so let's say I add another 10 and hit apply and then we repeat the process we duplicate this group combine it um, and then reapply the curve warp and we will end up having a longer chain